So we're in the studio today and I wanted to show you my uh, Biltwell Lane Splitter helmet. Talk about that a little bit. I like the helmet a lot, but I also wanted to talk about uh, do you really need a dual sport helmet riding a dual sport? If you're not riding in large groups uh, where you're getting a lot of roost from other riders and so forth, you really don't need the peak that comes on most dual sport helmets. This one came with a peak, I took it off. That's one reason I think that maybe an actual dual sport helmet is not quite, uh, not quite needed. The other thing is most dual sport helmets, maybe the better designed ones, allow you to put on a set of goggles, you know, dirt riding goggles. And again, I, I don't like that because I like more air to my face. I don't need that kind of protection. So I wore padded sunglasses, you know, the type that seal to your face. And uh, that way I get a lot more air to my face when I'm poking about off-road. So do you really need a dual sport helmet to ride a dual sport? I don't think so. This helmet here, it's, I mean, it's a street helmet, right? And you might think, well, gee, it's going to be hot off-road, you know, because you're working it, going slower, temperature might be high. But I'll tell you what. The air vents in this one, I mean, much bigger than the air vents in something like that. And you feel the air just pounding against your face on this one. It's nice in that respect. It only has that vent and one on either side. And then a vent in the rear to suck the air out. But I'll tell you, it works. I am cooler in this than I am in that. So that's good. The other good thing is positive detente for the visor and it has a pin lock so it locks down securely. Odd that they put it on the left side though because when you're stopped at a light you have to reach around with your uh, throttle hand in order to, uh, to lift it. It's a very comfortable helmet. Nicely padded. It's got a little uh, wind uh, guard for under the chin, which I, I like. It keeps the noise down inside the helmet. It's fairly quiet. There's, uh, you probably can't see, but there's my microphone. So that little wind guard under there helps helps minimize the sound. Um, I did have a problem with the shield. The shield that uh, I bought for it, you know, the smoke shields are optional, comes with clear. And the smoke shield that I bought for it was, I guess it didn't have a glare coating because it was very hazy. So I, uh, I emailed Biltmore or Biltwell and uh, they got back to me very quickly and said, no, nope, must be a defective shield. Uh, we'll send you another one, which they did. And this shield, as they say, is good. So I guess it was a defective one. So yay for Bill Wells for coming through. That's good. They did it real quick, no questions asked. So that shield is nice and clear. I like it. Uh, minor complaint about the helmet is the uh, clear coating on this. Hmm, maybe not so robust. It scratches quite easily. Mark there. A little mark there, a couple scratches here and there that didn't take much to do. Whereas this old helmet has been with me for years and uh, it has been thrown about and dropped. And so anyway, I, um, I thought I'd share this with you. Uh, I don't know what else I can say about this Biltwell helmet. Biltwell lane splitter even comes with a manual. Isn't that some owner's manual? And a nice little protective bag. Can you see that? So all in all, this is one of the nicest helmets I've owned. I haven't owned tons, but uh, I like this. Um, I forget the retail price and, and in your area would be different than mine, so I won't even mention it, but I guess it's in the mid price uh, helmets, that range. Yeah. 
anyway, uh, I think that's it. Take care, ride safe, and I'll catch you in another video.